Known as a top-tier safari destination, Tanzania boasts of one of East and Central Africa's most robust economies. The country is making deliberate strides to establish its place not just in tourism, but in business. Nowhere is it flexing its economic muscle more than in developing its largest port, the Port of Dar es Salaam. The Port of Dar es Salaam, the principal port of Tanzania, handling about 95% of the country's international trade, is also the fourth largest port on the African continent's Indian Ocean coastline, strategically connecting neighboring landlink countries of Malawi, Zambia, Burundi, Rwanda, Uganda, and parts of Eastern DRC to the Middle and Far East, Europe, Australia, and America. The government of Tanzania, with support from global partners, continues to work unrelentingly to make the port of Dar es Salaam a harbour so efficient that it becomes the route of choice for East, Central and Southern Africa. We are investing heavily in size, speed and smart technology. Expansion in size and capacity has been the key element of focus over the last 10 years. Initially designed with a total key or landing length of 2,600 meters, 11 deep water berths and the ability to handle 13 million tons of cargo a year, Tanzania embarked on the Dar es Salaam Maritime Gateway project focused on expanding the capacity of the port to handle at least 30 million tons a year by 2030. The details of the infrastructural expansion include strengthening and deepening of the existing berths 1 to 11. This immediately increased and has availed more berthing space and in turn curbed long queues. In addition to reducing queues, the deepening of berths 1 to 7 has enabled the port to comfortably receive mega ships or Panamex vessels whose capacity is between 6,000 to 8,000 20-foot equivalent units compared to the 2,000 20-foot equivalent units which is the capacity of standard ships. Beyond expanding what already exists, car importers and dealers have benefited from the construction of the roll-on roll-off terminal which is dedicated to offloading vehicles and movable equipment. It also has a 9-hectare yard where 6,000 cars can be stored at a time. With the construction of the 1,554-kilometer 1 crude oil export pipeline from Hoima, Uganda to Chongeleani in Tanga already underway, the port's importance in Africa will only grow. To provide one of the fastest and most efficient clearing and forwarding experiences of any port in Africa, the port of Dar es Salaam set up the one-stop center housed in a 36-story building designed to bring every single entity involved in the import-export business under one roof. The gains made in the clearing and forwarding processes are further consolidated by ensuring speed in the movement of inbound and outbound cargo to its final destinations. The road network leading into and out of the port continues to improve steadily with 70% of the country's transport budget over the last seven years allocated exclusively to it. The most lauded development, however, is the standard gauge railway. The 2,560-kilometer length railway line, which provides domestic links to inland ports and neighboring countries, has reduced inland freight time by almost half. An intermodal road, rail and ferry transport system used to reach inland cargo destinations has proved to be both time and cost saving. The speed and efficiency of service delivery for business people at the port has been aided by a commitment to technological advancement. One such advancement is the Tanzania Ports Authority Electronic Payment Portal. The TEPP is a single window system that is connected to the government electronic payment gateway such that traders can quickly and easily access invoices and eventually make payments for their cargo. It is a system so efficiently automated that a trader never has to physically visit the port to clear their goods. The port's new integrated security system is another crucial technological advancement at the port. The ISS uses state-of-the-art technology to protect the port from cargo theft and terrorism threats. The port of Dar es Salaam continues to reach greater heights and to align itself strategically to the Africa trade boom. When all is said and done, I would like to take this rare opportunity 
on behalf of all members of staff of Tanzania Ports Authority to welcome you to Port of Dar es Salaam to enjoy our great services. It is our pledge that we provide excellent service to add value to your businesses.